haul video and today I'm gonna be showing you some of the things I got in Bangkok so recently I went to Bangkok and I found a lot of new brands that I haven't seen before I'm gonna show you the things that I always get in Bangkok first I think this is also featured in my previous haul video if I did any of this okay so first off this two skin up liquid foundation dewy skin base I use this more often why I like to use this so much is because it doesn't smudge that much there is like slight coverage to this so it makes my skin looks like it's bare when it's actually not bad. Another thing that I always make sure I top up when I'm in Thailand, hair oil. So I always buy them in boxes like that but they sell it in individual packs. So there are six capsules in each individual pack that they sell. I just kind of buy them in boxes <laughs> because I use them so much. So this is an intense repair daily hair vitamin. How it works is basically like a hair oil, hair serum. It just makes my hair so smooth, smells so good. I think whenever they're selling out of Thailand, it's just ridiculously priced. This time round, I also got this um, 1 minute super mask since most of the hair masks that I've tried in Thailand right, are really really good it comes in like 2 parts so I think you're supposed to mix them both up like this I haven't get to try this yet I thought by the time I film this video I'll be using this already but I haven't and I only got two of this. Alright, let's move on to other products. Another thing I like to stock up on is this L'Oreal Paris Glycolic Bright Instant Glowing Serum Mask. Tun tun. So I got this at the Siam Square Butrium and it was going for one plus one. Just nice. I was trying to stock up. I think it's selling for one or two dollars for a piece. And then one plus one makes it really really cheap. It is selling in Singapore, but I think the price is quite steep in Singapore, if I'm not wrong. It's so brightening on your skin, like you can see immediate effect. Much like one tone brighter. Stock up on the aloe vera gel. So whenever I go to those beach related places, I kind of like to bring this pack of aloe vera it's really just enough for the trip yeah it's just a very convenient pack it's just like that so i was exploring you know 7-eleven has this like whole wall of products like that like in sachets in thailand you can really just spend so much time staring at the wall because you don't know what to get i actually squat there for a long time to look at every single product and i found this underarm bright cream so this is really like a underarm brightening cream i haven't tried it yet my armpit is not very black okay just want to let you know i don't mind trying something that will make it even brighter let me just open it quick and see like oh my gosh <laughs> strong scent. Oh, there's not much product inside for this. I have to squeeze it out like a toothpaste. Quite a watery texture actually. It smells quite nice. Maybe I'll try it on my armpit later. <laughs> okay, moving on. The next thing I got is something that I'm very excited to show you. It is... Da -da -da -da. So what is this exactly? Very tiny lip balm. So they call it a lip balm but it's kind of quite pigmented. It is so cute and small. I think it's about $2 if I'm not wrong. It is from a Thai brand called Tetty Doll. So I got it in every shade. I, one, one of the shades I gave it to my sister. So I have four of them here to let you see. This is the original packaging. I actually told myself not to open all the shades because I wanted to show you guys the full packaging. So I'm gonna open it finally right here. This one is in the shade Jelly Cola. You have to be very careful when you open this because the lipstick is kind of like like this. Oh, this shade is so nice! Oh, it's like a burnt orangey shade. The purple one is red lollipop if I'm not wrong. Reddish pinky shade. And then we have the yellow one, brown sugar. Eee, this is so cute also. This is kind of like the orange one. And we have the last one here is sweet peach. So nowadays, I only use lip oil to touch up my makeup when I'm out. So I don't really bring another lip color. And I think this is so perfect because it's so small. I can just use this for the pigmentation. And so I don't have to do bring two big sticks out in peach. I think they kind of look similar to each other. Okay, so moving on, I also have two more products, beauty products from Chanel. I got this at the airport in Thailand. First of all, I have this pot. It's like a pigment pot. So this is in the shade 3, Vital Beige. This is the Red Camellia Lip and Cheek Balm. Packaging is... Ooh. And I really, really love this shade. Very, very nice beige. 
You can blend it out as cheek color. Very nice flush. It looks good on both my lips and my face. It is definitely more of a muted tone instead of like a bright. I think it's more suitable for like night. The next item I got is this very viral on Xiaohongshu multi-use stick. You know my skin is very very dry so if I want to create glowy makeup look and need this kind of glowy balm. So I went to try getting it at Singapore's airport. It was completely sold out. So even at the department stores in Bangkok, they were all sold out as well. So I went to the airport in Bangkok and turns out they have this. So I quickly grabbed it. So this shade that I got is sculpting. Warm it up on my hand. I just tap 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 some dewiness and it really helps because my skin is so dry right this is the only one so far i tried that gave me the this kind of glow without being oily and without removing my makeup when i'm applying it of course i have to get myself another yadong <laughs> recently i'm quite obsessed with this green yadong strong Oh, I got myself a portable one that I can bring out. This one smells slightly different from that. I think it's a new formula. It smells more perfumey than that one. This big one is not available at the airport. They sell another brand. So you have to make sure that you get this correct brand. It has this bird. I got this at 7-Eleven. This is the Hong Thai brand. So I also got some random knickknacks. For some reason, I keep getting lime green stuff. So I got this cute keychain. I am obsessed with this. I got it at the Sick and Kit Club. It's so cute but I have to say the quality is really really bad. This thing is not metal. I think it's some really flimsy plastic. I, can, I think I can break it if I want to. Say hi to everyone, Squiggly. Sit down, Squiggly. <laughs> So I got this lime green top. I really wanted a top in this shade because I got myself this necklace <laughs> in the lime green shade. It's super super cute. The price was really reasonable as well. I think it's about 12 sing dollars. <laughs> so I found this at a shop so I got it as well. I think it's slightly overpriced. It's around like 27 or 30 sing dollars. I got both of these from the shop called Tress. I really like the things they curate there. They're all really really cute. They all go out together at once. Alright, so at Tress, I also got myself another t-shirt. The reason why I got this is because it is so so soft. It kind of feels a bit like fleece and it's like cottony. I think it's just one of the indie brands in Thailand. This will be my next trip's airport fashion. <laughs> So another top I got is from the Daddy Master Academy and they also have pretty overpriced clothes over there. I found this that I thought was really really cute. It's like a halter top. They kind of like remake it from old fabrics. And this one I thought was quite worth getting because it comes in a two-piece. And I can see myself wearing them on separate occasions. Quite comfortable, the fabric they use. Well, Alo is not available in Singapore yet, which is why I decided to get this from M Quarter. I got it from M Quarter. The fit is really really nice on me. I was hoping that it's a little bit shorter for me because I'm a very short person. Yeah, the fit, everything is perfect. The price is not good because I think I got it for 130 something. And I didn't manage to get any tax refund from this because they told me the system was down. So another brand that I recently got introduced to is this brand called Copen. Fragrance brand, kind of like tambourines, like Aesop. And they do have a very nice minimalistic aesthetic as well. But I got myself this perfume hand and body wash. I need a hand wash, so I got one. So this one is in the Sand Last Volcano. So this packaging is so nice. So Last Volcano is one of my favorite scents that I've tried for their whole range. I also got a hand sanitizer, False Awakening. So their scents are very musky, woody. If you are into this kind of scent, this is for you. So False Awakening is more minty. Aromatic Incense Stick. So I got this in the scent Ombre. Packaging is really nice. Incense. Comes with 65 sticks which is not too bad. And it also comes with a incense holder. But you do need to prepare your own plate. So on a separate note, I also got two bags that I want to show you guys. Recently, I got this Acne Studios bag. I know I got a lot of questions about this bag. So I got this in my previous vlog. So I went on to Dover Street Market and got myself this Acne Studios bag because I really wanted it for a long time. It's so cute. This one is the smaller one. I think the one that's pretty famous and hyped up all around is the big one. But I do feel this size is perfect for me. It fits almost everything that I need. And also another bag I got <laughs> is this cute Dior 
Dejoy. So this is in the nano size. It is the smallest little size they have. It is really really small. But why I like this over their Lady Dior Nano is because it is longer. So it fits my phone. But the bad thing is, if I fit my phone inside, I won't be able to fit anything else. So this is what I have inside. I just brought it out to an event. This is in the lamb skin and it's in this rose beige shade which I really like. Alright, so that's it for my haul this time round. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it's not getting too long. I'll see all of you. Hopefully not that soon for haul videos. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching my video as always. I hope you like it and I'll see all of you very soon. Bye!